hey guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here i just want to say welcome and please don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you hit the notification bell next to it so you don't miss any of my videos today i'm going to make another shirt for my kids and they are into sonic and shadow these days so if you're interested to see how i did it just keep on watching so i'm on my work canvas i'm just going to click upload and grab a couple of the images i had uploaded and then click insert So right here, I'm just going to grab this and hide it for now and move Sonic up here for a better view. Since I am doing a print then cut for a shirt, we already know that the maximum size design space allows us is 6.75 by 9.25. So I'm going to change the height to the maximum of 9.25 and I prefer to widen the image. So I'm going to unlock this and kind of play with it, but not where Sonic looks kind of distorted. So yeah, I think this should be good. And then just click make it. I'm just going to get my printer ready and with my printer, I place the printable HTV right side face down. The printable HTV I am using is a 3G Jet Opaque and I will also link all of the materials I am using under the description box if you guys want to check that out. Since I am using the dark iron on, there is no need to mirror the image. Right here, let's click on send to printer. Then I'm going to turn off the bleed button, then click this to turn on the use system dialog, and then click print. I don't know about your screen, but for me, I need to minimize the screen for me to find my printer screen to change my settings. And there it is. So I click on the layout, scroll down to print settings, choose best on print quality, then ensure that you are printing in color, then click print. Now that it's done printing, I'm going to place the transfer paper onto the mat by using my Cricut ruler. Now let's go ahead and feed the mat onto the machine for it to be cut. The dial on my machine is always in custom, so let's go back to the screen. We are going to browse all materials. And up here, I'm just going to type printable. Then choose the printable iron-on, dark. Then click done. Then just click start onto the machine. And when you see the light comes on, that just means the machine is scanning the registration marks. Once it's done scanning, it will just start cutting. Now that it's done cutting, just click finish. So I went ahead and removed the mat from the machine and I'm just going to show you how I removed the material from the mat. Just gently bend the mat like a taco shape and as you remove the material, just place your hand on top of it as you roll the mat away. With the dark iron on, just gently remove the transfer paper and just be careful not to rip it. It is quite thin. So I'm just going to press around the shirt. Place the image on the center of the shirt. And right here, I'm just kind of eyeballing the center placement of the image. Then I place a Teflon sheet. You can also use parchment paper if you like. And I press it for about 30 seconds at 350. My easy press isn't big enough, so I'm just going to slide down a bit and press for another 30 seconds for the other part of the image to ensure that the printable is properly adhered onto the fabric. Keep in mind that this is a cold peel, so I wait for about 10 to 15 seconds before I remove the Teflon sheet. And there you go. Alright you guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up or leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.